when we take up the properties of the determinants. One, A, the determinant of a zero matrix is zero. B, the determinant of a matrix whose all entries in any row or a column are zeros is zero. Consider D1. A1, B1, C1 is the first row. All zeros in the second row, that is 0, 0, 0. A2, B2, C2. And D2 as A1, B1, 0. A2, B2, 0. A3, B3, 0. If we expand D1 with the help of row 2, we get all zero terms, hence D1 is equal to zero. Similarly, if we expand D2 with the help of third column, we get all terms zero, and hence D2 is also equal to zero. Hence, the property is verified. Property second A, the determinant of a triangular matrix is obtained by the product of the elements in the main diagonal. And the determinant of a diagonal matrix is equal to the product of the elements in the main diagonal. To explain this, let D1 be equal to an upper triangular matrix with the elements A, B, C in the first row, 0, D, E in the second row, 0, 0, F in the third row. Expanding with the help of column 1, we get A times DF minus 0 minus 0 plus 0, which is equal to A into D into F, which is the product of the elements in the main diagonal. Now consider D2 equal to a lower triangular matrix, the elements A0, 0, 0 BC0, 0, DEF. Its determinant is got by expanding with the help of R1. We get A times CF minus 0, minus 0 plus 0, which is equal to ACF. Again, the product of the elements in the main diagonal. Similarly, it can be proved for the diagonal matrix. The next property is if rows and columns of a determinant are interchanged, the value of the determinant remains unaltered. Equivalently, if A is any square matrix, then determinant of A is equal to determinant of A dash, it's transpose. The explanation for this is that D equal to A1, B1, C1, first row, A2, B2, C2, second row, A3, B3, C3. It's equal to a1 times b2 c3 minus b3 c2 minus b1 times a2 c3 minus a3 c2 plus c1 times a2 b3 minus a3 b2. Let d dash be obtained by changing rows into columns, then we get D dash equal to A1, 
A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. A1 times, we expand it, A1 times B2, C3 minus B3, C2 minus A2 times B1, C3 minus B3, C1 plus A3 times B1, C2 minus B2, C1 equal to A1 times B2, C3 minus B3, C2 minus B1 times we combine these two terms B1, A2, C3 minus A3, C2 plus C1 times A2, B3 minus A3, B2 which is equal to D which proves the result. Fourth property is if we interchange any two parallel lines that is parallel ro rows or parallel columns of a determinant the value of the determinant changes in sign only magnitude remaining the same the explanation for this is let D equal to first row A1 B1 C1 second row A2 B2 C2 third row A3 B3 C3 equals to A1 times B2 C3 minus B3 C2 minus B1 times A2 C3 minus A3 C2 plus C1 times A2 B3 minus A3 B2 so let D1 is obtained by interchanging the elements of R2 that is row 2 and R3 that is third row we get D1 equal to A1 B1 C1 A3 B3 C3 and A2 B2 C2 we expand it again we get A1 times B3 C2 minus B2 C3 minus B1 times A3 C2 minus A2 C3 plus C1 times A3 B2 minus A2 B3 filling out negative common from all the terms we get minus times A1 times B2 C3 minus B3 C2 minus B1 times A2 C3 minus A3 C2 plus C1 times A2 B3 minus A3 B2 which is equal to minus D which shows the result. Now note that this operation is denoted by R2 goes to R3 and back that is the elements of row 2 and row 3 are interchanged. Second, this applies to the interchange of any two rows or any two columns but not a row or a column.